Hi, Anjay. Hi. So we're trying to do a little bit of piano for Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, so I'm just taking a look at some ideas, and I'm just going to use the keyboard here. Uh, oops, wrong menu. So we're going to look at how uh, I'm on the keyboard, and it only goes from here to here, right? So these notes right here, mm -hmm. or if I move it down. So to those ones, but so I'll start here between C3 and C5. That kind of the rhythm, right? Mm -hmm. And we'll change it to piano again. I'm on electric piano. It doesn't even matter. It's all different right now, but that's fine. So, so I'm just going to try just going, starting with the D. Oh, and I'm also going to. We know that it's in B flat. Oh, sorry, not B flat minor. It's in G minor which is B flat major. We'll see the key signature here. If we take a look and on the score, we now have two flats, which is B flat major. B flat has B flat and E flat. Uh, and, and G minor is the same thing. So um, I'm going to just try one, one, two, three, and What I should have done was had the click on here, but let's see how bad it was. Two, three, and. Two, three, and. No, I fell off the time. So let's try it again. Two, three, and. So that's the basic melody, and I'm just going to take a look at what that looks like here. All right, so there it is. Hi. Uh, can I share Rosie my song? Sure. Thank you. Okay, so. Uh, I'll just zoom in a little bit, so on each of these. And I'm just going to select them all and quantize them to 16th notes. Two, three, and. Two, three, and. Bum, 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 This may not be the right rhythm exactly, but yeah. that's how I remember it. Okay, and um, so. You can kind of see what it should look like. Again, here's bars six and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and here's the music here. Okay, if you want to do it with that entry. Okay, now we're going to take a look at um, the chord progression. All right, and. Again, uh, I'll just start back here, and it's going to be now. Again, if I don't even change the the range, there's your. I'll make it a bit bigger here. Okay, one, and we'll do it. We'll, we'll do an E. So let's try it like that. Two, three, and two, three, and okay. So obviously those are overlapping with each other, and that doesn't sound very good, but that's okay because we're gonna fix that. Okay, I'm going to go into the piano roll and select them all again and see what it looks like here. So here's the whole progression, right? Boom, ba, boom, bam, boom, ba, boom, bam, boom, ba, boom, bam, boom, ba, boom, bam. It's just those four chords. Okay, mm -hmm. but now 
I'm going to take the... Bye. See you guys. Bye, Rosie. You're welcome. Uh, I'm going to take the middle notes. See, I'm holding shift down and grabbing all these notes here. Just picking out all the middle notes, and I'm going to drag them up by an octave. So I'm going to go plus 12. Okay. And that's going to give us that big mm -hmm. sized version that we like. And let's see what that sounds like. I'm just going to solo this out. take the whole thing down by an octave, 12, maybe even another octave below that, another 12. Okay, and then if we take this one and See how it sounds again? We're going to take that and copy it. Command copy. Put it right here. Paste it on top. And then drag it up by an octave. Okay, and now we're starting to get somewhere. Now, here's another trick. Uh, I'm going to go with my keyboard here and go sustain. Okay? And I'm going to record a separate track of sustaining. I'm going to go Command D to make a new track down here. And this is going to be like my foot if I was a piano player with my foot. All right. I'm going to play along here. And it's Tab key. So I'm just going to shift along here. So watch. Every bar, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, and 1. Pick up my foot and put it back down. All right. So. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Picking up my foot, putting it down at the beginning of each bar. All right, now, that doesn't actually apply to this. Um, see, this is a, a, a controller that I have to now attach to all of these. So I'm going to put them all together. Join them, and now we get so they kind of blend together now. Now I'm going to take it. Doesn't sound so good on the electric piano because we'll see how it sounds on a regular piano. the idea though, right? Mm -hmm. Each time, put the foot down as soon as the new chord comes in. See, what you don't want to hear is, to do, you know, I think that's it. I think that's yeah. like more than enough stuff. That's good. Okay. Bye.